Hello, everybody, and I hope you're having a great day. Uh, today seems to be a little slow for news. We've had the big blowout with uh, Hell Divers too. That's that's come to an end, and I think we're just kind of waiting for what the next big thing's going to be. So for now, I'm going to fill you in with some other random news. While scrolling around on Twitter a little while ago, actually, well, I guess it was just this week, maybe, I saw an interesting tweet from Dexerto about Manor Lords and the fact that apparently Steam has been struggling to keep up with it. They have a very nice little article here. What is Manor Lords? New city building sim goes viral as Steam struggles to catch up. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, Manor Lords is a city building sim where you get to build a medieval city. So that's shocking, right? Set in 14th century Franconia. Apparently they tried to make a realistic medieval city building sim. It asks players not only to manage the lands they lord over, but also to manage things such as resources, trade routes, and make sure there are no unchecked expansions that will affect your land. So you have to protect your land as well as build your city. So what we're really interested in here is how did it get so big? I'm not entirely sure I should leave that sentence in here. They're not really sure how it became such a sensation, but it didn't happen overnight. In the weeks leading up to its release, Manor Lords was making headlines for reaching millions of wish lists on Steam. That made Manor Lords the most wish listed game on Steam, beating out the likes of Hades 2 and Hollow Knight Silk Song. Wow. But considering Manor Lords' unique approach to the city building sim genre, it's no wonder players are finding the game fascinating. And, you know, I guess that makes sense. Uh, a lot of men, in particular, like city building games. I'm I'm okay on city building games. I, I like them enough. I prefer something a little more intimate than the big cities. But these do look rather amazing. I like the fact that you don't have just the straight lines that you normally get to deal with. It looks like here you can curve them. I don't know how many have actually been to an older city where they actually where they have the wandering roads and a whole bunch of really weird spaces so I think it's pretty cool that you could probably end up with some of that in your city but apparently they're struggling to keep up in many ways they, and they can't just go on a hiring spree let's find out why this article on GameSpot don't count on the development team behind Banner Lords ballooning into a big operation no matter how much the fans ask for more content for starters one person was in charge of the medieval strategy game Greg Stixon on top of that Publisher Hooded Horse CEO Tim Bender noted, that's just fundamentally not the way things work. Bender opened up to PC Gamer about how fans are asking for faster updates for Manor Lords, which put up huge numbers on Steam when launched late last month. That led to someone chiming in that the developers should just add more workers, but that won't happen, according to Bender. The best growth is very slow, Bender said. It's keeping it the core vision intact. It's the importance of Greg and his work process. And so, as a result, people are going to be clamoring for updates. And I think that's just virtually guaranteed. There is no pace of updates that would not result in people clamoring for more and would not result in a bunch of people saying the ideal solution is to just hire 50 people. This is actually a really wise comment here. Too many companies grow too fast and they end up with people that don't necessarily fit. They end up with people who aren't in there for building the game. They mess up the culture, especially if this is the work of one person overall. Making sure that he has people who are going to work with him the best is the only way to make sure that you keep your company, your product, being what people want. If this, pro if this game is already so popular, then they have to deal carefully, especially when you look at the current uh, climate we're in. Look at what just happened with Helldivers. Look at what's happening with Stellar Blade. Right now, gaming companies stand to do one of two things. Give the customers what they want and make boatloads of money. Or to not give the customers what they want and basically earn the ire of everybody and get blasted on the internet from now till kingdom come. I, I doubt Manor Lords is suffering an issue of people actually trying to blast them at this point. I know gamers get a little uptight about wanting things now, and that is definitely something they all have to work on, but it's definitely looking like it's doing really well. And it looks like they want to grow in a meth manner that will continue providing the best possible product for the gamers. This says Manor Lords had over 150 thousand concurrent players at near the end of April, with a peak today of more than 77,000 people on Steam at the time of publication. It's been another surprise hit for the year, joining the likes of Pal World, Voltaro, and even Helldivers 2. The City Builder game will come to Xbox eventually, but it's not com confirmed for PlayStation yet, and I can't blame them on that one. Manor Lords also launched day and date on Xbox Game Pass for PC game preview. 
so yeah, it looks like this game is doing really well. I believe I put it in the games coming out for the week a couple weeks ago. I'm pleased to hear that it's doing so well. I'm also pleased to hear that the developers want to keep things small and grow at a consistent pace as opposed to just driving full bore ahead and potentially fucking things up. Have you played Banner Lords? Is it a game you would like to try? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Uh, if you really liked it, you can feel free to share it around, and I will catch you later.